Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I, I do work as a philosopher and I, I study human animal relations. And I study that um, by way of designing things. I team up with designers um, and I team up with, with pigs and farmers. And together we study human animal relations. And I'm going to show you uh, something of an ongoing project I'm, I'm working on with pigs. Now, this is uh, it's not a pig, literally. It's a, it's a wild boar. And about 10,000 years ago, there wouldn't be any pigs. It would only be these guys. They would be uh, wild boars. They would run around the forest. Occasionally, some human would drop by with a spare and, and, and get one. But at some point, uh, uh, humans started to uh, 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 domesticate them. There's, there's some ideas that pigs also came to humans because we were interesting. We had all these lovely garbage they could eat. Um, so there's kind of a, a, a mutual process, but this is what this is what happened. Uh, we built uh, kind of kind of structures around them, um, and we, we domesticated them. And at the same time, they domesticated us. You could say. Um, at, the, at, the, at the moment, we built houses for them. We built houses for ourselves. The fact that they 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 were willing to live with us, maybe not knowing what was what we were up to with them, uh, but the fact that they were willing to live with us gave us a source of protein in winter that freed up leisure time we could spend on, you know, whatever, um, making cuckoo's clocks, waging wars, do whatever, build our civilization basically on the back of, of pigs and, and a few other uh, early domesticated animals. Now, if we go just very quickly back to the previous slide, when you see on the back of this pig is, is, a, is a straight tail, and here is, uh, on, on the right you see an image uh, actually, on the left, you see an image uh, 2,000 years ago. You see the curly tail, that is a pig. So then, then you see that you've moved from a wild boar to a pig when you have a curly tail. That's a domesticated animal. And that's the animal that sort of co-evolved with our civilization and that our material culture was, was based on. Uh, this is uh, the current uh, condition of most pigs, uh, for instance, in the Netherlands. And that's a very different uh, material culture that we created for them. Now, we ourselves, our, our material culture has become very fancy, as you can see today, but for them it, it's mostly uh, concrete slatted floors, um, uh, metal bars, you know, very, very, very basic kind of technologies. Well, actually, most people are aware that pigs are very, very intelligent, very clever, uh, so what happens, they get bored, uh, and they start uh, become aggressive and eat each other, start nibbling at each other's tails, so what do we do? We, we chop off their tails preventively to, to, to prevent them to, uh, to hurt each other. So there goes their tails. But then, um, I know the European Union is not so popular anymore these days, but with pigs it is, uh, because f f uh, the European Union has this regulation uh, that requires to give some kind of toy to pigs to, in order to prevent their boredom. And, and have their exploratory behavior uh, uh, catered for. Um, and what mostly happens is that this, this kind of toy is, is a, a piece of chain or a ball on a chain. You can see that on the, uh, on the image there. And what you can also see is that these pigs are, are uh, basically, they're, they're, they play a bit with it and they're bored again. So what did, what did we do with a bunch of designers of the Utrecht Art School? Um, we decided to, to, to go to, and together with an animal scientist, we decided to go to a pig farm and check out you know, what were pigs interested in other things than the things. So we brought a ball, but immediately you can say, and we, we, we entered into this design process together with, with pigs, and what you can see, this pig is telling us, no, this, this ball is actually not so interesting. I'm more interested in, in cameras and more interested in humans behind it. Maybe you know, it looks more, more curious to him. So um, we entered into the design process, and this is this is a short uh, film clip that I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna show you um, of something that 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 we uh, came up with as, as something that will be interesting for pigs, and not only for pigs but also for humans, because now this is this is a film clip in which we show a system by which humans and animals could play together, which we could play together with pigs somewhere on the farm who are bored by a human who is bored as well. The idea is that we could uh, 
by moving your finger over the iPad, you would move around a, 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 a shiny dot and pigs would be able to follow that. And if you would lose out the pig, then you lose the dot and it's, it's game over for you. But you'll get another chance. And once you manage to, to interest the pig and learn to move together with the pig enough to find certain goals, like here, and together you uh, manage to find that, then you've been enjoying yourselves and your pig. So this is, this is obviously a, a very early stage. This is partly a mock-up, partly a real pig. Uh, but we're actually working on it to, 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 to realize this, that this, this can be uh, uh, downloaded. And what I'm going to tell you a little bit about the background idea is what, what was, why this is so interesting to me. Uh, and I hope to everyone. So um, I, I consider this, this uh, as, as, as a kind of design process, as kind of philosophical research. And for me, what's very important uh, to, to do with this kind of, to, important in, in a way to, to have with this game is that it should be on a real farm. So we, we shouldn't play with you know, some kind of hobby farm pig. No, it should be a real farm. Um, then you, that's the only way you can, we would be able to find out, can we actually play with our food, you could say. Uh, there's this tendency of, of saying, okay, we have, we have animals that we, we, can, we can play with, those are our pets, and we have animals that we don't want to really know, you know what, 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 what's happening with them. And it's, it's, it's such a waste, because we use everything of a pig but their minds. It, it, their minds now currently go to waste. So in this way, we could, we could also put their minds to use. Um, well, one thing we wanted to have in the game, uh, it should be voluntary. So we don't want to force pigs to play with us, right? It sounds, <laughs> sounds not very good. So, um, well, they should have some kind of opt-out. They, they can't actually leave, like, fully the farm, but they, should, they, they shouldn't be forced to play with us. Something else, natural. So it should it be natural? It was really a question what we were really wondering about. Should it be as natural as possible? Should it be... You know, as should we create some kind of virtual reality in which they think they're in a forest and uh, chasing wh whatever they, they want to chase? Uh, well, we, we try to play a bit with that. Play a bit with, you could say, anthropomorphism. You get a sense, okay, this is a pig using some kind of complicated technology. How does this, how does this work? That, that's something that we were uh, interested in. And what we wanted to create is some kind of open-ended situation in which it's not really clear uh, necessarily you know, this is the kind of IQ test. Um, is the pig going to meet it or not? No, it's, 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 it's a bit more open. It's a bit more, uh, well, I don't know, I, I, perhaps a sort of equal uh, situation. It, it, we don't want to, you know, teach a trick to a pig. We, we want to see whether we can have some kind of mutual learning, to have this mutual process of mutual do, do, uh, domestication in, 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 in a new technological era. And uh, the final thing is, it, it really puzzled us for a while, is, and, and still is actually, should we, should we give a food reward? Is it, is it still playing what we're doing when we, when we give a food reward, or should it be intrinsically motivating? Now, this is, these are the kind of questions that we were wondering about, together with you know, designers, but also pigs, and in fact farmers. And, and there's, a, there's a tradition of, of, of wondering about whether you can play with animals, or whether what you're doing with an animal is actually... Uh, playing, and this is, this is uh, Michel de Montaigne, uh, one of the classic philosophers, uh, 16th century Frenchman, and he was playing with his cat and was really wondering, like, am I, is, is it really, you know, who's, who's, who's making fun of who, who's, who's, who's playing with who, and this kind of sense of not, you know, sense of doubt, that, that's something that we want to retain. We don't want to, you never know for certain whether you're going to play with a pig or not whether it's actually playing for you or what it means to, to the pig. Um, so what we want to create, and we want to retain this, this sense of doubt, um, we want to create a kind of level playing field. So not, okay, so the humans are obviously going to be the smart guys, and then the pigs are going to do some, you know, some funny bit for us to uh, enjoy us. No, um, we want to have some kind of real interaction, uh, meaningful for both in, both in the same way. And to some extent, we want to have you know, our human abilities. How great are we? We want to see whether that's actually true. And for instance, uh, at some point, we had a discussion with a farmer we were working with. 
Uh, and he said, well, you know, at that point we had like a competitive game in our minds. At that point he said, well, uh, obviously humans are going to, you know, always win now. Um, and then he started doubting that, oh, well, the pigs do have all day to practice. So maybe, you know, uh, I mean, that, that, that's the kind of situation that I would, I would be interesting in, interested in. Um, so there's, there's this ambiguity that, I want to, uh, that we want to play with as well in this, in this project. Are we going to create a, a, a relation with an individual pig, or is it just a generic relation? Do you, would you have a sense of playing with a particular pig? You want a name, and you, you, you may want to eat that pig, or, or not eat that pig, but other pig, or do you have a sense that you're playing with you know, pigs in general? This is the kind of, I'm, I'm actually, I'm not sure what will happen. Um, it's, it's, I'm really eager to find out. Um, something else that I wanted to talk about is the, is the moving with uh, the, the, the animal that, that was built into this, uh, into this uh, game that I showed, just showed a film clip of. Uh, and there's, I mean, for instance, with a, with a horse, this is an a, a, a antique Greek uh, statue of, of uh, a little guy riding a horse. And with horses, it's one of those other animals that are important in our, you know, building our civilization. And with them, we have a very close uh, a connection, also a close bodily uh, connection. Um, and, and we have learned to move with horses, and horses have learned to move uh, with us for a very long time. And there's a fascinating uh, article by a Belgian philosopher, Fencian Despray. Um, and she writes about isopraxis, which is uh, uh, this notion of moving uh, together. Uh, and she describes who, uh, who influences and who is influenced in this story are questions that can no longer receive a clear answer. Both human and horse are cause and effect of each other's movements. Both induce and are induced affect and are affected both embody e each other's minds. Now, that is, that is a way to talk about uh, horse riding, but in a very crude way, that's also what we try to achieve with this, with this game. Can we learn to move together with this pig? Will we also learn new things about human minds, pig minds, and the way we could, we could connect those. Uh, another philosopher quote, uh, Bertrand Russell, he was quite amazed by, by all these uh, 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 research into, into uh, uh, monkey behavior, ape behavior. Um, maybe, hmm, maybe I should skip this? Yeah, let me, let me skip this. Let me just, <laughs> sorry. Um, let me just say that you could say that, okay, so, so we have this sense of, of uh, this possibly bright future in which we could all learn to play together, and we could all make a shared material culture around the concept of play, and we could learn to, uh, to live with animals in a new way. I don't know, um, maybe shortly to, to go back to these guys, I don't know whether, you know, creating fancy technological gadgetry for them is, is like the solution for all their troubles. I'm not sure. Um, what I do know is, is this might be an interesting way to, to learn um, about them and ourselves in new ways. Thank you.